Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I think we decided on the name of the PIB fans. We're gonna be, you're gonna be Colonels. Are we cool with it? There's Colonels, there's Bedheads, which I also think is pretty cute. We're going into episode three of Loki. I've actually been thinking about Loki since I watched it a couple days ago. Like, oh, I kinda wanna go back and watch that. And I had a couple options of what to watch tonight, but I secretly wanted to just watch more of this. So, I'm excited. Last we left off, it was kind of um, looking not great for everyone. Um, but I'm hoping it's surprisingly upbeat. Does anyone know that movie? If you guys want to check out full-length reactions, Patreon exclusives, vote on the polls, hang out with me and so many movie loving friends. Here's a Patreon. Also, um, our subscribers are kind of slowing down. I'm not worried. Um, you know, it's sunny. People are getting out and about and probably spending less time on YouTube. You know, you don't even get spammy junky emails unless you click that little bell and then you get like when I upload new content. But if you could just click that thumbs up, it's really helpful for me and the all-knowing, ever-elusive algorithm could help a girl out. Like for popcorn, like for Loki. Okay, and I just need to talk about this mystery. Why, why does every girl have a weird crush on Loki? Cause he's not like, Thor is very obvious why every girl loves him. Loki is not obvious. He is not undyingly attractive. He's just like, got the mischievous bad boy with a good heart deep down when we want to fix him. Is that it? I don't know. Can you see my shirt? Emotionally attached to fictional characters. Maybe that should be the name of a second channel <laughs> of mine. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. The girl Loki. So does that mean like somewhere in another dimension, a girl Loki of a different planet? Do you think she has a sister like Thor? Hey, how long have we been best friends? Too long. So why won't you tell What's me how many people are guarding the timekeepers? What? But I don't know you. It's okay. You're just tired. This is the girl they stole. You probably <gasps> just tired. How do I find the elevators? No. She's wrecking her brain. Her magic doesn't work here. Oh my gosh. I thought perhaps we could work together. Hey! Uh-oh. Come any closer and I'll kill him. Go for it. So... If they're both Lokis, like, think the same? Where did you send us? Lamentis. Oh, we went to the future. You idiot! This is Lamentis 1! I don't know what that means! The moon that planet is about to crash into and destroy! I want them to be a team or not. I want him to be a team with Owen Wilson still. What's she doing there? What's he doing? What are you doing? You're trying to enchant me. It won't work. Because my mind is too strong. Fine. <laughs> the plan you interrupted was years in the making. 
Okay, got it. And as soon as I turn that temp pad back on, I'm going straight back to the TVA to finish what I started. Let's hear the plan, lady. There's power somewhere on this moon. We just need enough of it to travel through interdimensional time and space. How long do they have before this moon is destroyed? So what's the plan? There's a town near here. And can you shut up? Just because I have to work with you doesn't mean I want to hear your voice. All right, well, slow down, Variant. Don't call me Variant. I'm Sylvie now. Sylvie, Loki. Well, I'm not you. Can we get on with this now? What's her story? Okay, I know, it's coming. Be patient, I know. Well, this is horrifying. Well, this looks fun. I'm going to enchant a guard, have him lead us through the crowd. No, they just gotta shape shift into people. We're doing this one my way. Just follow my lead. <laughs> I love role his role play. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're better than that, Loki. <clears throat> she can enchant. I mean, he can enchant, can't he? I'm not gonna waste my time rooting around for the tempad when someone taught you fairly decent magic. My mother. I feel a life story coming on. She was um, a queen of Asgard. She was good, purely decent. Are you sure she was your mother? Uh, no, she's not actually. I was adopted. Is that a bit of a spoiler for you? Sorry about that. No, I knew I was adopted. So they do have the same stories. You know, when I was young, she'd do these little bits of magic for me. I'd turn a flower into a frog or cast fireworks over the water. Oh, Loki. There's the soft side we all know and love. Not bad. Where do you learn to do the, you know, the... I taught myself. Is. You taught yourself that magic? Yeah, I did. What did you just, you just go into their minds and project some sort of illusion? Like Wanda. So, on the subject of love, is there a lucky bow waiting for you at the end of this crusade? I managed to maintain quite a serious long distance relationship with a postman whilst running across time from one <laughs> apocalypse to another. So does she have a beautiful goddess sister of lightning? How about you? You're a prince. Must have been would-be princesses. Yeah. Or perhaps another prince. A bit of both. I suspect the same as you. But nothing ever... Real. Love is mischief, then. Love is... Uh, something I might have to have another drink to think about. Are these people actually going to get off the planet? He would. Almost sounds like Lord of the Rings. Uh oh. Change the subject. I thought an answer. To what? Your question. What is love? Love is a dagger. It's a weapon to be wielded. You can see yourself in it. It's beautiful until it makes you bleed. But ultimately, when you reach for it. Love is an imaginary dagger. It doesn't make sense, does it? No. Terrible metaphor. Ah, uh, pretty sad metaphor. Sir, can I see your tickets? Of course. Here they are. Oops. Is this really necessary? There is a simple explanation. And here we go. We're going to have to kill every guard now.
drunk on the train. I'm hedonistic. That's what I do. I'm hedonistic. A lot more than you, I assure you. But never at the expense of the mission. Oh, the mission? The mission? What, your glorious purpose? Give me a break, you can't beat them. <laughs> Is he really cool with just dying right now? Like, I don't get it. Wait, Owen Wilson will come save them, right? He could track them. Did the uh, scream make you feel better? Yes, it did. What now? What about the Ark? The Ark never leaves because it's destroyed. Oh. Never had us on it. So what if we hijack the Ark and make sure it gets off this moon? Ooh, that would be a branch, right? Because it's not supposed to happen. They okay. change the course of time. Really? Here's an idea. What if you enchanted me and you could walk for both of us? Yeah, that's not how enchantment works. You know, I feel like I've told you so much about me. I really yeah. don't know about you. How enchantment works. I have to make physical contact and then grab hold of their mind. In order to preserve the connection, I have to create a fantasy from their memories. That young soldier from the TVA, her mind was messed up, everything clouded. I had to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior. Hundreds of years. I was told that everyone who works at the TVA was created by the timekeepers. That's ridiculous. They're all variants, just like us. What? Do we trust each other? We do. As much as a Loki can trust a Loki. Five minutes until launch. They're gonna let these people die. We have to get on that arc and make sure it takes off. How? We go round. Oh my gosh. I really don't like thinking about apocalypses. The Ark does not make it. I mean, I know this can't be the end, but... Marvel just makes me ask so many questions. I'm not concerned that they're gonna get off. I actually think he might have pretended that one broke and then he's gonna pull it out at the last second or that Owen Wilson is gonna come rescue them. But my questions, we just found out that the TVA agents were also normal people. Their brains were like fuzzed up or erased and then they're just like in this boring government agency jobs for hundreds of years. So does that technically mean Owen Wilson's character, he had a normal life before? And then Loki's gonna tell him that, and then they're gonna take down the TVA together, but do I want the TVA taken down? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it does seem concerning that a hundred branches of the sacred timeline, whatever that is, you know, like make all these other alternate worlds. And then I really don't understand how, like, she is a Loki. Because doesn't that have to mean that she was once... Like, if she's a variant, or is she from another dimension, like the Spider-Mans? Ay ay ay. Anyways, okay. <laughs> they didn't tell us much about her, which I'm sure will be re revealed. I'm not sure if I like her or not. I'm not sure if I want them to be in love, because then they'd just be, like, kind of in love with themselves actually might work for Loki. Okay, so four. The Valkyrie flies over, defeats the dragon, and saves Asgard. Excuse me? On the authority of the timekeepers, I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. She's just a little girl. That was Sylvie. Oh my gosh, this is so messed up. What could she have done to mess up the timeline? 
Next case. What's that girl? She's the one who originally captured Sylvie? Whoa, are we going to get to see the actual timekeepers right now? I picture them as like floating heads in the sky. Yikes, Sabi. I don't think I'm far off. Do you have any idea how impossible it is to keep the timeline stable? Every moment those variants are out there, we're all in danger. Find them. I'm sorry. I remember Asgard. Not much, but I remember. A different Asgard. <sighs> the universe wants to break free, so it manifests chaos. The TVA showed up, erased my reality, took me prisoner. So because she was a girl, was born a girl? Everywhere and every when I went, caused a Nexus event. Because I'm not supposed to exist. I feel like the TVA is gonna like, have a rebellion when Loki tells them the truth, right? Do you think that what makes a Loki a Loki is the fact that we're destined to lose. We may lose, but we don't die. We survive. I mean, you did. But you nearly took down the organization that claims to govern the order of time. You're amazing. We've got something. Temporal lock. Wait, what? You ever seen a branch like that? Is that a branch because two variants are falling in love? I knew it. I knew they would be okay. All right, it's ready. What is this? You'll see. <laughs> The TVA is lying to you. Put him in. <gasps> no. I think he's telling the truth. What? You. You did this. What? What's happening? This is Asgard. A bad memory prison? How quaint. Who's next? I hope you know you deserve to be alone and you always will be. Just... <laughs> I thought I was going to dip all his past. How lovely. Oh. You. You. You conniving, craven, pathetic world. Okay, okay, Sif, so, hang on. You are a reconstruction of a past event created by the organization that controls all of time. So you need to trust me, you need to help me escape. Yes. And crotch shot. Mm. Shouldn't you be interrogating the Loki variant? He's softening in the time cell, but while he marinates, I thought maybe I'd interview the other variant. Stick with your Loki and figure out what that Nexus fight was. I know, but I think I can get there faster if I work them both together. Remember, you said we have a part to play. This is the part I play right <laughs> Absolutely at. not. Hmm. Is she in on this? Work your Loki and figure out what caused that spike. Timekeepers are watching, Mobius. They're always watching. Work your Loki. Work your Loki. That ought to be my mantra. Is she in on this? Does she know that she's brainwashed? Or that they are? Mobius, did Loki say anything while you were in there? So the TVA is lying to me. Why? Just doing my job. Hmm. Does she have an inkling? Okay, Loki. You ready to talk? Okay, you said the TVA is lying to me. Go ahead. I miss their friendship. How long have you been working for the variant? Absolutely not. Why don't you just tell me what caused the Nexus event on Lamented? Does he know? Because they held hands? I guess we've reached a dead end then. Okay, it's over. I'm gonna miss these little tete-a-tetes. Me too. Tell him, tell him, tell him you're a prisoner. 
Wait, you're your female self that you have some demented crush on. You're all variants. Everyone who works at the TVA. The timekeepers didn't create you, they kidnapped you from the timeline and erased your memories. Come on. Memories she can access through enchantment. Believe him. So before this, you had a past. Maybe you had a family. Maybe he's had little glimpses of memory, and this will spark something. Nice try. That was good. You two, what a pair. I'm gonna have to close this case now, because I don't need you anymore. You know, of all the liars in this place, and there are a great many, you're the biggest. I mean, the lies you tell yourself. They're putting him back in the time loop. Will it be a different one at least? Hello. Oh, I don't know. Your name's a number. Come with me. Oh. Mobius? Oh, yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Case closed. What if they accidentally used the temp pad to go back and like see their old lives hundreds of years ago? If you could go anywhere, anytime, where would it be? I like being here now with you doing the work. He's not playing. His mind is wheeling. Could Loki be right? Ooh, switchy, switchy. He's pretending to trust her. Hi, you wanted a fair fight. I respect that. When you were in my head, I saw something. That's right. The timekeepers took your lives from you. They kidnapped you. Your variant with a safe. Show me. Oh, show me too. This is so wrong what they are doing. I looked happy. What now? I want to see his life before this. Hunter C20. You're not hearing me. I was there. This was real what I saw. This is a place that I've been. Calm down, I'm a variant. So is every single person in this place. I'm ending this. She knows. Holy crap. What are you doing? Passing the time. Do you care about this variant? Sylvie, I'm not sure if care is the right Shut word. Up. I think we've covered this back Shut in. Shut up! Do you really believe you deserve to be alone? I don't know. He's freaking out right now, Loki. Do you swear she didn't implant those memories in Hunter C20? Mobius, no. I believe her. So I just have to trust the word of two Lokis? <sighs> it's the hardest ask ever. How about the word of a friend? You're right. About the TVA. You need to trust me. Can we do that? Yes. Yes! You can be whoever, whatever you want to be. Even someone good. The band is back together! <sighs> What's going on, boys? You know where I go, if I could go anywhere, wherever it is I'm really from. And wherever I had a life before the TVA came along. I knew I had a jet ski. <sighs> Prune him. <gasps> no! No! Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. That was not supposed to happen. Oh, no. They were going to do it together. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking mad right now. Do you remember me? I do. What was my Nexus event? I don't remember. Ooh, she is cold. After all your struggle, at last you've arrived before us. Do your worst. I think you're scared. No, Variant. You're nothing but a cosmic disappointment. No, I'm not done with you yet. For all time. Always. Hey! Yes, yes, 
Yes. This time, I finished the job. <laughs> Can those timekeepers not actually do anything except sit there and look scary and weird? You're a child of the timekeepers too, Sylvie. What just happened? What? They're just machines? Mindless androids. Who's controlling this place? Who created the TVA? Sylvie. I have to tell you something. This is new for me. Oh. My. Gosh. Do it. No. You're gonna tell me. gosh okay i have a little bit of hope now because loki can't be dead because this is loki's show and if loki's not dead from that thing then maybe morbius is also not dead from that thing and the timekeepers aren't even real what does that chick know <gasps> okay i remembered there's a after credit someone told me he's alive Am I dead? Not yet. But you will be, unless you come with us. Who are you? Uh... Am I supposed to know any of those people? Or was a little kid holding a pig and a... king of some sort? Oh! <gasps> there are other Lokis. Look at all their horns! That's not a pig. A, a, a crocodile Loki, and that kind of looks like, oh, he doesn't, he looks like a Thor. He's got a hammer, and then like a, an old Loki and a kid Loki. Who? He's gonna be okay. But it's Morbius. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, I just watched the end credit scene, so now I'm a little bit happier because he's not dead, and there's all these other Lokis, including, I think, a, a crocodile Loki. My brain doesn't work very good when it comes to all the other dimension stuff. Although I did pretty good in the animated Miles Morales spider verse Spider-Man. <laughs> I feel like this is like that. Like there's a pig, there was a pig Spider-Man, another animal, Loki, but I don't know what's gonna happen. And I need, need, need Morbius to be okay. I hate that one chick who betrayed him. The timekeepers are all a ruse, but for what? Like, they had infinity stones in their desks, like it was no big deal. Like, who is that powerful to create all this? And they also have to be bad. They gotta be bad, because no one else would kidnap these people and brainwash them and make them work in red tape. I don't know. Oh, I can't watch one more. What time is it? Too late. Okay, only two more. Things are getting good, people.